In an earlier video, I showed you how you can use the select field on any data input dialog box to analyze a subset of your data. I'm now going to show you how that same select field can be used to exclude outliers. What you see here on the screen is a sample of temp temperatures and heart rates for 130 individuals. What I'd like to do is I'd like to first look at this data, see if there are any outliers present, and then set up a facility by which I can easily exclude outliers, unusual rows in this data set, when I do various statistical analyses. To identify the outliers, I'll first go to the top menu to describe numeric data outlier identification. I'll take the temperature and put it in a data field and then press OK. On the next two dialog boxes I'll also press OK to accept all the defaults. This will bring up an outlier identification window with a table and two graphs. I'll be talking in detail about outlier identification in a later video. For now though I'd like to double click on the graph in the upper right corner which will display an outlier plot. This plot shows the body temperatures of each of, of the 130 individuals with lines at the mean, that's the center line that's labeled zero on the right, and then one standard deviation on either side of the mean, two standard deviations on either side, three standard deviations, and four standard deviations. You'll notice there's a single observation that's above three standard deviations from the mean. That's a very unusual value. If I click on it with my mouse, this will be identified as row 15. Now let's suppose we went back and found out that that individual was sick when the data was collected. We might therefore like to exclude that individual from our calculations. I can do that in this particular procedure by going up to the plus minus button on the analysis toolbar, pressing it, and that will remove that observation. You may have also noticed that the sample mean and sample standard deviation changed. They're now based on the other 129 individuals. Well, that worked well for this analysis. But if I called up another analysis, perhaps a re regression or correlation analysis, um, it wouldn't be excluded from those. However, I can now use this procedure to set up a column, another column in my data sheet, with ones and zeros that I can use to exclude row 15 and potentially multiple outliers when I run this data through other procedures. To create that column, I'm going to go up to the analysis toolbar again. The fifth button from the right is the Save Results button. If I click on that button, a dialog box will come up that will allow me to save various results back to my data book. What I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to click on the checkbox for select flags. Over toward the right of that is a field for target variables. I'm going to type the word good, which will then become the name of a column of zeros and ones. I'll select the radio button A so it goes in the same data sheet as the rest of the data and then press OK. If I go to the navigation bar and click on Data Book, you'll notice that it's now created a column that's called Good, and it has ones for all the observations other than row 15, which now has a zero. Okay, now let's suppose we were interested in whether or not there was a correlation between temperature and heart rate. To check that out, I could go to the Relate menu to Multiple Factors and choose the Multiple Variable Analysis Procedure. 
This will bring up a data input dialog box where I can place two or more column names. What I'll do here is I'll click in temperature and I'll click in heart rate. So it will calculate a correlation between those two columns. Now if I didn't put anything in the select field it would use all 130 subjects. But I'm going to take now that column of zeros and ones that I've created called good and place it in the select field. Then when I press OK and OK again and OK once more it will drop into the multiple variable analysis procedure. You can see down in the bottom left a table of correlations. I'll double click on that to make large to make it large. It says here that the correlation actually between temperature and heart rate is 0 0.2537. It also says, and you can see by the parentheses, that this correlation has been based upon 129 observations. So in fact it has excluded one row from the data file. Uh, in case you're interested, if you've not seen this procedure before, there's also a p-value. The p-value here for the correlation coefficient is 0 0.0037. Since it's less than 0 0.01, it indicates that there's a significant correlation, in fact, between temperature and heart rate at the 1% significance level. Creating a column of zeros and ones is a handy trick for excluding one or more rows from an analysis. Now you could do this using the outlier identification procedure or you could just type in ones and zeros in a column to indicate what rows you want to analyze. Then take the name of that column and anytime you run an analysis put that column name in the select field and you'll analyze just the rows you're interested in.